Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to polish a surfboard, how to do some preparation on the hot coat before you can actually start polishing. I'm quickly going to run through the products that I'm using. I've got a sanding machine, I've got a sanding block, I've got different grids of sandpaper. Now, starting off with the leash plugs and the fin boxes. On those, when you take the tape off, once you've applied the hot coat and you remove the tape in those areas, you will have quite a sharp lip that needs to be removed. So I use a, a 320 dry sandpaper to work the fin boxes and the leash plugs to get them flat. Now let's talk about this machine. This machine is a normal rotating sander uh, or rotating polishing machine. So I can actually place... Um, sandpaper on it, wet sandpaper on it, and I can put a, a, a buffer on it to polish. Now, key on these machines is that it, it rotates slowly. This machine has about six speeds. I always, always use number one. I never go to number two. If you go to number two and number three, you will start warming up the surface of the, of the board. And when the, red, uh, the, the, the resin gets warm, or the, the hot coat gets warm, it's just going to start um, getting soft and then you're not going to get the results that you want. So keep it at, at one, always, or the slowest speed that your machine can do. Now, I like to start off with wet sandpaper when I start working on the, on the hot coat or on the surface of the board. Um, some people don't. I prefer it because you cannot make a mistake. With wet sandpaper, your chances of running through the hot coat and Damaging the glass or the fiberglass layer underneath are very minimal. So if you start off, let's say, with a 320 or 380 or what's a 320, 360 um, wet sandpaper, you're actually quite okay. You can flatten. You you, you actually your work is is fairly fast. I mean, don't rush things, obviously, but um, you're not going to be sitting there forever and ever. So once you completed those, um, say, your 300s. Go over to a 600 and then maybe go up to a 1000 or even a 1500 grit wet sandpaper. Now, once you've reached or completed the 1000 grit or 1500 grit, you go over to your diamond cut polish. This is a special polish um, that is for polyurethane gel surfaces. So this is a diamond cut polish, the num step number one, which literally takes care of even more imperfections. Now. The reason why you would use this is to get uh, rid of scratches that the machine or the wet sandpaper couldn't do. Just to smoothen the surface just that little bit more. That's why you use a compound or a diamond cut polish. Then after that you can go to stage number two where you then get the shine. So then here you've literally taken down a layer to make it sound a bit easier. You take another layer down, similar to what the, the wet sandpapering did, just in a very slower uh, version of it. The polishing um, literally just shines it up. So however much shine you want, you can go to stage three, stage four, and just get it to really, really pop, let's say. One more thing I would like to add. When you, when you go out and you, you want to buy your products, a lot of people have come to me and say, oh, but I've been trying this, blah, 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 and it's not working, and I've got problems. Try to keep everything from one shop. Try to go to a specialized surfboard shop or surfboard supplier and buy your products from him. Don't mix it with the auto industry or anything like that. Or, I mean, I can just think back like 20 years ago, I was still making airplanes and using the fiberglass on the wings and everything was a complete different process. Now, these products here, I find them so much easier to work with. They are so simple, they've, they've just simplified everything so much. So the epoxy resin that I'm using speeds everything up and it just intertwines with the polishes and I buy all my, my sandpapers from the same guy. I buy, so I started with a blank, I get the right thickness and the right weave of glass. I get um, my epoxy resins from them. It's a special surfboard epoxy resin and I get my polishes from him. I get my machines from him, I get my sand blocks from him, I even get my masks from him, and I get my sandpapers from him. That way, I'm saving myself a lot, a lot of time. So that's just my tip to you guys. 
that about sums it up. Now, it is time to get dirty. Because polishing is a dirty job. Polish flies off the machine, destroys a t-shirt. Try not to tell your wife. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna now take my setup outside and do all this stuff. <laughs> So I started off uh, wet sandpapering with a with a 320, 320 grid. I went to a 600 grid, and I'm going on to a thousand grid, but ever so slightly. So I hardly touched it with the 320. Uh, the 600 I went a little bit longer, and now the thousand I'm going to go obviously all out to, to get it as smooth as possible. The next step what I'm going to do is um, polish it with two, two steps. The one is a diamond cut and the other one is a finish. So the diamond cut literally just smooths it out and the finish gives it the shine. And all the work is completed. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And click that notification bell. Have a wonderful week guys.